In previous videos in this HBX truck, I tested both of these batteries. A Tattoo 850 milliamp hour 3S and a Lapiri Air 850 milliamp hour 3S. Both of these batteries are really strong performers, but I wanted to get them out here side by side so the testing was as fair as possible. When I tested this one the other day, this still had a different connector on it, so I had to swap it over before I could run them together. So here we are, we're gonna go ahead and see how they perform. And one thing worth noting is that while both these batteries perform really well, in order to fit this tattoo battery in the HBX trucks, you do need to do a slight modification to the chassis. You can see this one does not quite fit. So what I had to do is take my Dremel tool and cut this little section out of the battery box. And once I did that, if you mount it upside down and backwards facing, the wires can fit right in that little opening. And then you can cinch it up no problem with the battery strap. So not a big deal, but the Laperior Air 850 does fit in perfectly with no modifications at all. One other thing I need to mention is both of these batteries come with XT30 connectors on them. So if you're gonna run them in your HBX trucks or anything else that has a different connector than XT30, you're gonna have to go ahead and swap them over. All right, stay tuned. Let's see how these batteries perform side by side. First up is the Tattoo 3S 850 milliamp hour battery. And I'm gonna go ahead and set the low voltage alarm to 3.8 volts per cell. I don't know if it'll actually go off, but I'll leave it in there just to see what happens. Okay, let's get this thing turned on. And make sure the GPS is registering. Very good. Alright, the fastest today was 33.9 miles an hour with the tattoo. I'm gonna go ahead and reset it and maybe do one more run. Thirty-three point eight. There we go. Next up is the Lapiri Air 850. I'll go ahead and make sure the low voltage alarm is set to 3.8 volts per cell. Again, did not alarm with the tattoo battery. Not sure why the tattoo ran slower than the previous time out here. Uh, it might be the tires are wearing a little bit. Uh, we'll see how this one does. I charged both batteries on the same charger and at the same time, so they should be very evenly matched. I wanted to run them at the same time, which I failed to do last time. So we'll see how this Lapierre battery tests today. Let me go ahead and get this thing buttoned up and get it running. Four point two. Interesting. So the Lapira Air is actually slightly faster. All right, there we go. Thirty-four point three. And I had it set to average speed. There we go, 33.8 was the max. So these batteries are very close in performance. Now I wanna go ahead and go over the specifications and the stats of the three different LiPos I've run in my HBX truck. Now the Ovonic 3S 2250C LiPo, those of you that watch my channel know that I regularly run it in my Traxxas Bandit. 
and the performance is just embarrassing. It's regularly 10 to 15 miles an hour slower than higher performing batteries. It just has severe voltage sag when it, you have it in a vehicle that has a high amp draw. Now this HBX truck is much lighter and does not have nearly as much of an amp, high amp draw, but it still didn't perform that well. As you can see, it did exceed the manufacturer's capacity claim holding nearly 2,300 milliamp hours, but most of that capacity is down in the lower voltage range. If you look here at this column, it only held a little over 1,000 milliamp hours from 3.7 volts to 4.2 volts. And that's where you want the bulk of your capacity because how fast the vehicle goes is simply determined by the speed of the motor, how fast it's spinning. Higher voltage makes a motor spin faster. So if you have most of your capacity in that higher voltage range, you're gonna have a higher speed. And what's really interesting, if you compare it to the Tattoo 3S and the Lupier Air 3S, both are 850 milliamp hours. This much larger LiPo, the Avonic's like two, two and a half times bigger than these other two LiPos. But it really didn't hold much more capacity in that voltage range. So just goes to show you how poor the performance of that battery is when you compare it to a much higher quality, much better performing LiPo. Now between the Tattoo and the Le Purier 3S batteries, they're very similar. The uh, Tattoo held a little less capacity, but they both are pretty close to their claimed 850 milliamp hour capacities. And if you look at this column here, so you can see the Tattoo actually did a little better there. It had a little more of its total capacity in the voltage range from 3.7 volts to 4.2 volts per cell. But again, not a big enough difference to really notice it in testing. Now let's look at the internal resistance. A larger battery will have a lower internal resistance than a smaller one, everything else being equal. And typically a battery with a lower internal resistance is gonna perform better than one with a higher internal resistance. Now the Avonic, simply because it was so much larger, had a relatively low internal resistance for this test. But if it was an 850 milliamp hour robotic, I'm sure the internal resistance would have been much higher than the Tattoo and the Le Purier. The Tattoo did have a little higher resistance than the Le Purier, and um, it wasn't really enough to notice it during testing, however. The weight of the three batteries, the robotic, by far the heaviest, no shock there because it holds like around two and a half times the capacity of the other two LiPos. And the Tattoo was the lightest by a um, you know, significant margin. Now, with top speed, when I originally ran the Avonic versus the Tattoo battery, I ran the same day. The Tattoo went 34.8 miles an hour and the Avonic went 33.8 miles an hour. Link in the video description. Now, when I ran the Tattoo versus the Lapiria Air on the same day, the tattoo was almost a mile an hour slower than the day I ran it with the Ovonic. I think the reason for that may have been it was significantly colder and perhaps the tires ballooned less, making the circumference of them smaller, effectively reducing how tall the gearing was overall, thus making the car slower. But I'm really not 100% sure why there was such a difference. So I have a different plug on the Ovonic and I'm not gonna run all three of them at the same time. But I think it's safe to say that the Avonic would have again run slower than these other two LiPos and the Avonic's top speed is an estimation, 32.8 miles an hour. The other two batteries, again, I ran them back to back and they were very close within a couple tenths of a mile an hour of one another. I always try to keep my testing fair and honest and I fell short guys. This HBX 16890A truck has run very consistent in the past, but something's different this time versus the last time I ran this Tattoo 3S 75C LiPo. 
First time out here, it went 34.8 miles an hour. Today it was right around 34 even, so it was significantly slower. It may have been because it's colder out today. The tires were ballooning less. Uh, that's my best guess. Maybe it was a rougher surface. I did keep both these batteries warm before I ran them in my coat pocket. I charged them on the same exact charger under the same conditions at the same time. So I tried to remove as much variability as possible. And I think today is a very real result. So this Luperior was slightly faster today. I can't remember if it was 0.1 or 0.2 miles an hour faster than this tattoo, but pretty much a wash. Now on the charger, this one is actually holding a little bit more capacity than the tattoo as well. However, they're very close and the tattoo is holding a little bit more capacity above 3.7 volts. At the end of the day, either of these batteries would be an awesome choice for a vehicle like this HBX truck or anything that they fit into. I don't think you'd be disappointed at all with either of these. Very good performance and both of these easily outperformed my Avonic 3S 2200 milliamp hour battery. A battery that's like two and a half times as big as these two. Both of these outperformed it with top speed. So there you go. Just wanted to make that right and uh, be a little more careful moving forward comparing speeds from different days. Try not to do that, but I have so many batteries, especially with my uh, larger ones, I can't run them all the same day. Thanks a lot for watching and take care.